the key word there is, you know, inner, inner journey, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's this personal growth is, even though it can be experienced collectively, like in a relationship or in a group of friends or in all that, it's still experienced within. And so the, uh, one of the struggles that we talk about is a lot of society is built from this external to internal um, approach of knowledge or information or even awareness to uh, shift our actions inside. But I'd say one of the ways to really overcome this aspect of everything that you're talking about, the, the fear, is to really do your best to flip that really focus on the inside and and what what is going on within you and how can you breathe that the love that you feel inside how can you breathe that into the external and so then things like competition comparison uh, you know start to fall away because it's not relevant in that sense that it's it's defining you it's not um un it's, you know when you're going from the external to the internal it's it's unintentionally fueling the ego and but when you're going from the internal to the external then you're in direction. And that's something you really, really beautifully talk about in, in your book is that is sometimes we let the, the ego uh, take control, right? We let it drive us. And, and then that's where the inner critic comes in and, and just takes over, right? But the inner champion, that's all, that's from the inside. And so we can direct ourselves in our actions. And that's what I... Um, that's what I love when we are truly on a, on, on the, for me, when I was, when, when I feel like the most on path for my inner growth, I'm not letting the externals define my internal. I'm letting my internals uh, flow out into the external experience. Yes. Which then can create a stronger connection. Yeah. And if for any reason it's not, you can use that as inner growth, right? Yes. Begin to ask yourself, why? Why? That inner critic would have you believe that there's some problem or issue. Mm -hmm. Your inner champion would have you understand that there's some opportunity, mm -hmm. either an opportunity to learn or an opportunity to create a stronger bond. Mm -hmm. somewhere there's an opportunity and we just have to really understand what it is. So you're on a personal growth journey. This is an opportunity for personal growth somewhere. Mm -hmm. so, yes. And also redefining what different means. Yes. You know, different doesn't mean bad. There's, there's almost been a, a, a societal correlation to that. And, and like, okay, so what is the practicality? You know, what if what if a couple is uh, looking for personal growth and one of them is saying, "Hey, I'd like to be vegan." The other one still wants to eat meat, right? This is something yeah. we've we've had clients and friends talk about, you know, or one of them's, you know, really into like your faith is a really big one as well, or one, maybe they have right, different right. versions of politics. So there's all the, there's manifestations of these differences, but. What an opportunity for us to say, wow, okay, the person I love the most has this perspective that is different from mine. What can I learn? How can I grow? It doesn't mean I have to subscribe to it specifically or perfectly or exactly in the same way, but how can that expand my awareness and help me see a bigger picture? Or how can that create more you know, loving conviction into what I, I believe and what fuels my passion while still allowing my partner to hold theirs in parallel because that's what fuels theirs. Yes. And I will say it a million times over. One of the most challenging things we do to other people is attempt to force them into many versions of ourself. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to say, I honor your individuality, but have the same faith that I have, have the same political perspective that I have, have the same eating approach that I have, and then I'll honor every other difference that you have. 
that takes away so many opportunities to really see the variations, the multifaceted amazingness that we as humans all bring to the table. Because every one of us having our own unique perspective on everything affords me an opportunity to learn something new about myself. And I love that. Like that just makes life so spicy for me, (laughs) right? And I don't have to agree with everything that everyone says or does or eats or puts into their body, but that's okay because I'm not walking their path. But I can certainly learn something from it, even if it's what I don't desire to do or don't desire to eat. There's something in there that I can say, huh, that's interesting. (laughs) So if we in our personal journey, especially in our partnership, can just go, wow, Austin, you as my partner, and this is not the case, but you as my partner may not always appreciate something that I'm learning about myself, but you still appreciate me. How lucky am I to have a partner who gives me the space to learn all things about myself, even if it doesn't align with you? That's love. 